morning to you amen and happy new month of august amen yes. so praise god feliz domingo por la mañana uh, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend, a church you can call home, a church alive, worth the life, worth the drive, amen, or the walk, whichever, whichever one you want to do. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo, amen. And we want to welcome all of you that are watching by audio, video. We want hearing by video. We just want to say welcome, amen. amen. And uh, one thing we always ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. God has great things for you. Yes, and yes. Let, let me let me read this to you. Receive and leave change. Don't leave the same. Amen. When you leave change, the Lord has not finished with you. And he's got instruction for you. He got a word for you. Amen. So guess what? I'm going to receive what God has for me. He has great plans for it, for you. And none of them include defeat. Amen. Amen. The Bible says the enemy came to steal, kill, destroy. Uh -huh. But he says he came that you might have life and more, more abundantly. Life more abundantly. Amen. So he has great plans for you. And he says this in his word. He says that you can do all things through all Christ things. who strengthens you. Amen. Amen. This is for me. This is a new me. I'm going to step out after I meet with him. And I'm going to step out a winner. I'm going to step out a champion. I'm going to step out an overcomer, knowing who I am and whose I am Amen. and who's backing me. Yes. We need to know this all the time. Amen? And when you have a relationship with him, you know who you are in him. Yes. Amen? Just like David. You know, he said, hey, I'm not backing down from no giants. And you know what? You have giants facing you daily. Uh -huh. But you know what? You don't have to back down. You don't have to bow down. You just got to press on. Amen? Praise God, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And that's on a daily basis. <laughs> so I'm excited already. I don't know about you. And uh, I want you to grab this because we're not going to be long. Amen. And so you get it quick. God wants to bless you, encourage you, and change you, and correct you. Yes, he's in the correcting business too. Sometimes we don't want to be told. You know, uh, instead of being convicted by the word of God, <laughs> we're offended. Uh -huh. You know, if you're offended, then you got to get saved again. Or you got to get a relationship again and get that relationship right with God. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. praise God. But he wants to correct us because, you know, we're not perfect. He's the only perfect one. Amen. But he wants to get us on the right road. And sometimes we take side roads. Uh -huh. And we got to get off them side roads and get on the right road. Amen. Amen. Come on now. I'm preaching better than Amen. you. Amen to me. <laughs> so, praise God. Amen. Grab your swords, grab your Bible, soldier to God. Amen. And let's say it like you mean it. Amen. This is my Bible. Uh -huh. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I know I'm going to say in Jesus' name. Amen. My mind is alert. You got to keep your mind alert. I've told you many times. I'll tell you again. The battlefield is the mind. And you got to renew your mind with the Word of God. You got to feed yourself the Word of God. You know, if, as long as your feet know the Word, your faith is up and up. And we're going to be talking about waiting on the Lord today. Mm -hmm. Waiting upon the Lord. That's our message today. But if you keep your faith up, guess what? Hey, I'm going to soar like eagles. Amen. And not scratch with the world. So praise God. Keep your spirit man fed. Keep your mind renewed to the things of God. Because the enemy comes to steal, kill, destroy. And he'll put thoughts there, and he'll put distractions there, he'll put all kinds of things there to pull you down. Amen. God is not in the pulling down business. If that's all you ever did, it's time that you pull somebody up. Amen. Amen. Pull somebody up instead of putting them down. Right. If you're going to put anything down, put them down on your prayer list. Yeah. <laughs> put them down on your prayer list and pray for them. Pray for your enemies. You know, hey, everything's not just going to be chummy. You know, things are going to happen. But you know what? You have the victory in you. Yes. And you have the greater one in you. Yes, you Amen. So praise God. I'm already blessed. I don't know about you. Yes. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. So our message today, once again, prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Put your mind at ease. <laughs> and get the coronavirus off of there. Get all the cares of the world out of there. Mm -hmm. And say, praise God. This is your time. I want to receive. I want to receive. Amen. I'm here to receive. So waiting upon the Lord. Uh, you just grab your Bibles and start opening to uh, Isaiah 40 and, and verse 31. Amen. This is my Bible. 
Yes. Wow. <laughs> Waiting upon the Lord. Listen. Here we go. I even have it on the board for you there. But listen, there's no shortage of God's power, might, or strength. Amen. Okay? There's no shortage, okay? You That's hear right. things yeah. happening, all these things yeah. going around, but still, God is in control. Amen. Is He in control of your life? That's your choice. Amen? You can side with the world or you can side with God. You can side with a losing team or the winning team. It's your choice. The best thing to do is side with God. Amen. On the win, be on the winning team. Amen. Yeah. And guess what? If when you're on the team, that means you're part of the team. And he wants us to go out. He's called us to go out into the world and bring uh, the, the good news to them. Not the sad news. <laughs> you know, not the gossip news. <laughs> the good news. The word of God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Isaiah 40 and 31. I want to read it to you from the uh, King James and uh, from uh, the Amplified. It says, but they, that's you, you're a born again Christian, you're a born again child of God, but they that wait upon the Lord. See, if you're a child of God, you're going to wait on the Lord. Mm -hmm. Don't get impatient. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's time to wait. If you, right. you know, w whatever you do, whatever you pray for, whatever God wants you to do, uh -huh. just wait upon the Lord. Amen. Wait upon the Lord. Yeah. And they that wait upon the Lord shall what? Renew their strength. Yeah, strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Not faint. Amen. So this is awesome. Go to the next one. It's the same, but it says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew what? Their strength. strength. Amen. They shall mount up with wing they shall mount up with wings as eagles. You know they use an eagle is they soar up high. You know, when trouble comes, storms come, guess what? They rise up and they soar up above the problem. The storms and there's a lot of storms going on right now but we as eagles you know can rise up above the storms yeah. and be close to him amen they shall what run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint amen Ooh, this is awesome isaiah 40 and 31 now <clears throat> let's go to hebrews 12 1 and 1 through 3 and that's the new testament Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. Hebrews chapter 12. Are you there? <laughs> it says, Christ our example. Wherefore, seeing that we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside what? Every weight and the sin which so easily besets us. And let us run with patience. Again, with patience, the race that is set before us. Yes. Amen. God has a race for you. God has a mission for you. God has a calling in your life. And we're to go with him and be patient about it. Amen. Amen. Verse 2 says what? Looking unto Jesus, the what? The author and finisher of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. And that right hand is a place of authority. Mm -hmm. And he also says that he is there to intercede. Inter intercede for, for the saints. Amen. Mm -hmm. So he's there praying for us. And verse 3 says, For consider him that endures such uh, contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be weary, weary in faith, faint in your uh, mind. Amen. So praise God. So we... To let go of these weights, all these sins that so easily besets us. Amen. Go to the next one. Uh, I was gonna. This is all over the place. But I, this is, you know, your attitude should be an attitude of gratitude all the time on a daily basis. Amen. <laughs> and your attitude determines your altitude. If you're going to soar with eagles, you know, <laughs> your attitude better be positive. Your attitude better be good. Otherwise, you're going to crash. Okay, your, your attitude is, is negative. But a bad attitude is like a flat tire. Mm. If you don't change it, you can't go anywhere. Mm. I know what Jesse, oh no, never mind. <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> Let me read to you um, Isaiah 40 and 31 from the Amplifier. But those who wait upon the Lord, 
who expect, look for, and hope in him. Are you expecting? Yeah. You know, you just go and shoot some 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 prayers and just run out, you know, and, and, and just take off. Yeah. It says who expect, look for, and hope in him. Yes. Amen. You you wrap your you you wrap your uh, your your uh, prayer in hope and faith and expecting to receive. Amen. Yes. So praise God. It's not just run and gun, you know. <laughs> will gain you strength and renew their power. They will lift up their wings and rise up closer to God. Mm -hmm. Like eagles rising towards the sun. They will run and not become weary. Mm -hmm. They will walk and not grow tired. Amen. So listen, that's the, what the Amplifier says. There's no shortage of power, might, or strength. Our way is not hidden from God. Our way is not hidden from him. He knows. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Amen. He has not forgotten about us. We forget about him. Right. And we walk away from him. He don't walk away from us. You know, he knew what was awaiting him when he came into Jerusalem and it hailed him as king. King of kings. And then a week later, they crucified him. He already knew what was coming. But still, he endured and he pressed on just like we need to do the same thing. Amen. Amen. He, we're his. And we're to press on and not sit and not quit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> he, was, uh, he will make himself, himself his strength available to us. If we but trust him and wait on him. Amen. His timing and his plan. If he gave you his plan, we are to uh, wait on him. Amen. He knows best. See yourself soaring with it, with 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 God over all his all cares, all troubles, all all uh, problems, sickness, coronaviruses. As an eagle, Amen. As I said a few minutes ago, just soaring above your troubles. <laughs> Everybody's got troubles. If you don't, we need to. Pray for you, <laughs> but you're above. You can you can soar above your troubles. Amen. Are you mag Are you magnifying God or are you magnifying your troubles? We've been talking about this. It's time we start magnifying Him. Amen. Amen. Magnify God and not 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 the problems. Amen. Amen. Staying positive, staying connected, staying plugged in, uh, being available. Uh, God's not looking for. Uh, uh, Quality, all these uh, uh, people that got every de degree that you can think of, mm. but he's looking for uh, available people, not the, those that are uh, abilities. He's looking for availabilities. He's yes. looking for yeah. those that are available to him. Yes. Amen. Are you making yourself available to him? Mm -hmm. You, ha you can only you can answer that question. That's right. Are you making yourself available? You know, mm -hmm. quit. Having this attitude of, uh, oh, little poor me. I can't do anything. You know, you've been beat down, you know, by the world. You've been beat down by parents. You've been beat down by friends. Said, you can't do anything. You don't have anything. Mm. Well, if God put you here, he's called you and he's qualified you and he's put gifts in you. Mm -hmm. And all these things are for you to fulfill whatever mission God has given you. Yes. Well, what is my mission? Well, spend time with him mm -hmm. and find out. But you know, the Bible says you can do all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. If you got Christ... You can complete what he's called you to do. Amen. Amen. So that's for somebody. So mm -hmm. it's time for you to quit sitting back and being uh, sad and, and, and just allowing the world and people to, to hold you down and put you down. Amen. You know, stop listening to the enemy's lies. Yeah. Amen. He says he came that you might have life more abundantly. Yes. He says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. So you need to put the word to work. You know, when you get full of the word, it's time you step out in faith. Yeah. Put, put some faith in them steps mm -hmm. and get the separate for God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Ooh, come on now. <laughs> yeah. Staying positive, staying connected, being available. Yeah. Not scratching, struggling, defeated, and quitting like the world does. Mm. Amen. He didn't call us to quit. He didn't call us to uh, uh, give up. But lay down and do nothing. He didn't call us to be idle. <laughs> he didn't call us to be lukewarm. He calls us, he, he says, I'd rather, rather you be hot or cold, but not lukewarm. Just sit, you know, and say, well, you know, cancel out, sit out. 
you know, mm -hmm. he wants you to be doing something. Mm -hmm. Come on, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. Though no defeats, no quitting. Like chickens and hogs, mm -hmm. negatives, you know, just scratching and wallowing in the, in the muds, in their problems and all these, magnifying their problems. Even the prodigal son says, you know, hey, <laughs> I can do better than this. Yeah, God gave me something better to do. And he came back home. It's time. Some of you that are listening right now. It's time for you to come home. Mm -hmm. Amen. God has great plans for you. Yes. Praise God. I, I wrote myself here about attitude about the eagle. A little story about the eagle. A lot of you have heard it before, but I'll say it to you again. Eagle. Farmer goes out, finds an eagle. Brings <laughs> an eagle to the house. He has no other place to put him, so he start he put him in the chicken coop with the chickens. Mm -hmm. He starts feeding them chicken chicken feed and he starts acting like the chickens. <laughs> the ranger comes, finds him, and says, Hey, you know what, you can't have this chick this uh, eagle here. He's made up to be a uh, king of he's a king of birds. He's supposed to be up in the air flying around. So he takes him and well he takes him he, 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 out of the chicken coop and he throws him up in the air. And he flies a little ways, he, he comes down, and then he walks over back to the chicken coop. He's eating and acting like the chickens. Yeah. We need to stop uh, feeding and acting like the world. Amen. We're children of God, amen, we're children of God. And we gotta change our minds, we gotta change our attitudes, we gotta change our ways. We can do more than this. So he takes him again, and he throws him up. He flies up to the chicken coop. And then he flies down, and then he goes back into the chicken coop. Mm -hmm. Finally, long story short, he takes him up into the forest, and he throws him up. And guess what? He starts to fly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, guess what? Finally, you get the Word of God in you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's time that you get to soar like the eagle. Yeah. Say, hey, doing things for God. Mm -hmm. You know, doing great things for God. Say, wow. You know, sometimes we surprise ourselves and we say, I didn't know I could do this. Mm -hmm. Well, God already knew. Yes. <laughs> and you know what? He's smiling because we're finally doing what he's called us to do. Yes. He's happy. And you'll be happy too that you can do things for him. Amen. Amen. But as long as you let the world depress you and and, and people put you down and all these other things and, and you're, you're not doing anything. Mm -hmm. You just be like a, a king of birds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In a chicken coop. Yeah. Well, we don't have to just blend in. There. The Bible says we're in the world, but not of this world. Yeah. We're not of the world. Yeah. We're yeah. His. Amen. We're yeah. we're going somewhere else. Yeah. This is not our home. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Come on now. Turn that. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. Psalms twenty three and two says what? Well, we know Psalms twenty three, mm -hmm. but he said verse two says. He maketh me loud in green pastures. He leadeth me besides the still waters. Yeah. Still waters. Waters of rest. Yeah. Sheep are restless in rushing waters. But they are calm and wait in still waters. Mm -hmm. This says, He leads me besides the still waters. He restores my soul. Amen. Yeah. He's with you. The Bible says yeah. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. Right. When you know the word of God, you can press on because you yeah. know He is with you. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, when you get empty, <laughs> it's time to refill yourself. Keep yeah. yourself full of the Word. Keep yeah. yourself uh, 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 positive in the things of God. You know, stay connected. Yes. And not let your uh, spiritual batteries down. <laughs> Amen. Keep it up, you know, because when you start seeing, when you start emptying yourself and, and you're getting low, guess what? You start thinking like the world. And I'm a nobody. I can't do these things. How am I doing this? You got to stay up. Keep keep those uh, uh, that spiritual fuel going. Keep that word of God yeah, in yeah. you. And your faith is going to grow. And your spirit, your, your fears are going to go away. Uh -huh. Amen. You see, you, you feel those fears coming? Get more into the word. Uh -huh. Get the word in you. Yeah. So, Psalms 27, 14. Next one, Carmen. Says, wait, pay, for wait and pay, uh, faith and patiently on the Lord. Be of good courage, and He shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Yes. Amen. The New Living Translation says, Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. 
This one says, wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and be courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> you don't want to get too far behind. You don't want to get too far ahead. That's right. Amen. And you don't want to do no side steps, you know. Uh -huh. <clears throat> There's a lot of rabbit trails, but guess what? When you stay on the word, this yeah. is your GPS. It's going to keep you straight Amen. on and on. Yeah. And you're just going to go with him yeah. and walk side by side, you know. Yeah. And he's with you. He's not going to leave you. He's not going to forsake you. <clears throat> next one, Colonel. Psalms 37 and 7. Go to the next one. There we go. It says, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways. When they carry out their wicked schemes, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> People all around you. Well, let me just put it this way. Don't try to copy the world. Yeah. Don't try to copy people. Yeah. Be the original God made you to be. Uh -huh. Amen. When you start, w when you have a relationship with him, you're going to be the person he wants you to be. And yeah. you don't have to go around copying somebody else. That's just right. be who you are. Amen. Somebody need it there, so you better uh -huh. grab on to it. God made you the way He wanted you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God made you the way He wanted you. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes. He made you just the way you are. And you don't have to please the world. You don't have to please nobody else. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Next one. Here we go. Everybody knows this one. Oh, yes. Trust in the Lord. Have faith in the Lord. Uh -huh. With what? With all thine heart and lean not on their own understanding. In all your ways, yes. in all thine ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Amen. Amen. Proverbs uh, 3, 5, and 6. Yes. This is uh, King James. Mm -hmm. This is awesome, you know. So you don't know. All you have to do is, 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 is trust in him. Amen. Amen. Trust in him. And he's... He's going to lead, direct you in the right way. He's going to guide you in the right way. Mm -hmm. Amen. So just trust in Him. So this is just a few. There's many scriptures that that, that fit in this, you know. But yes. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Amen. Trust in Him. Yes. Keep going. Thank you, Lord. In the Old Testament, it's waiting for the Lord's uh, provision and, and care. In the New Testament, it relates mostly to the coming of, uh, the second coming of Christ. In all cases, it is waiting expectantly with faith, hope, and trust. Yes. Amen. Waiting upon the Lord. Being able to wait is trusting God's timing, character, and God's goodness. Yes. Amen. So you have to trust in Him. <laughs> when you're not trusting in Him, you start falling back into the yeah. world. And you start trusting the world. Or you start trusting somebody else. Yes. Amen. The world, I mean, the Bible has everything that we need. I yes. told you last week, the Bible is basic instruction before leaving earth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. So, this is all you need, but yeah. you got to get in it. Amen. And you got to open right. it up and yeah. get it in you. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. And then it's going then you're going to grow. Then you're going to mature. And that's the good thing. Yes. Amen. That's the good thing because yeah. the enemy won't listen to the enemy's lies anymore. That's you right. won't listen to the world's lies anymore. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, he listen to what God has to say. Amen. Amen. It's not about making us uh, to wait and see how long we can take it, like we do one another. Huh. I'll make I'll make you wait. Huh. I'll keep you waiting. Mm -hmm. That's what we do to one another. Huh. But this is not what God is about. Amen. Yeah. Waiting on right. waiting upon the Lord has two elements here: yeah. is complete depending upon Him uh -huh. and uh, willing to allow Him. To decide the terms, including his timing yeah. and his plan. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Just know this. You know, don't go and grab your plan and, and then go to God and say, Bless my plan. Oh. He says, I have a plan for you already. Yeah. And it's already blessed. Yeah. <laughs> Just remember that. Let God be God. Amen. Yeah. James 1 and 3. Here we go. Knowing this, faith, knowing this. That in the trying of your faith worketh patience. Yeah. You don't have to pray, pray for patience. No, it'll, right. <laughs> it'll come. Yes, <laughs> James 1 and 3 says, Patience is a product of faith. Amen. So let's go there. Let's go to James. James, 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 James. Where are you? Hebrews, <laughs> James. Verse 
Yeah, right, right, right after uh, Hebrews. <laughs> James 1 and 3. Okay. Let's read uh, 2 and 3. Are you there? Yeah. Mine starts off with patience and temptation. <laughs> My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Yeah. Verse 3 says, Knowing this, that the testing or trying of your faith worketh patience. And verse 4 said what? But that patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Amen. Amen. So, those are some good scriptures. I hope you're writing these down. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. In the uh, New uh, Century Version, it says, My brothers and sisters, when you have many kinds of troubles, you should be full of joy. Huh? <laughs> See, sometimes it's good to check into some other translations, oh. but the New uh, Century Version says this. My brother and sister, when you have many kinds of troubles, and you will, you should be full of joy because you know that these troubles test your faith, and this will give you patience. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. How many need patience? Right now. Right now. Right now. Lord, give me patience. <laughs> And of course, Galatians 5, 22 uh, says, uh, your patience is a fruit of the Spirit. Let's go there. Mm -hmm. Galatians uh, chapter 5 talks about the fruit of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I want to read it to you from the Amplified. Uh, there you go. Got it over here. It says, fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. Uh -huh. Amen. But I want you to go to Galatians Okay. Chapter 5. Oh, <clears throat> once again, if, uh, if you don't mark your Bibles, get rid of it and get another one. You can mark, highlight, and personalize. Amen. <laughs> and read. <laughs> and read it. <laughs> Chapter 5, verses 22 through 23. Amen. So let's read. That's the fruit. It says, but the fruit of the Spirit is what? Love, love joy, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faithful, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. The Amplified says this. But the fruit is of the Holy Spirit, the work which is His pres which His presence within accomplished is love, joy, gladness, peace, patience, and even temperate, forbearance, kindness, goodness, uh, benevolence, uh, faithfulness. And verse 23 says, gentle, meekness, humility, self-control, self-restraint, con contained. Uh, against such things, there is no law that can break, bring a charge. Amen. So, Praise God. Patience is a good thing. Yeah. Not patience. Be patient in Him. Wait upon the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, let me read it to you the way I wrote it here. It says, With the fruit of the Spirit, the results of His presence within us is uh, love, unselfish, concerning for the others, joy, inner peace, patience, long-suffering, mm -hmm. not the ability to wait, but how we act while waiting. Mm. Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Amen. Praise God. So, attitude has a big thing about this, okay? Yeah. So, your attitude should be positive and not negative. Amen. Amen. The Bible tells us, uh, in, uh, again, in the, uh, Psalms 118.24, This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. So, what is your attitude going to be about this? Are you going to receive it? Are you going to rejoice and be glad in it? Or are you going to be sad and mad about it? That's your choice. But you have to take the word of God and be obedient to what the word of God tells you to do. Amen. Attitude is the key. Here and on our daily lives. Positive or negative. 
The attitude is, is a choice. Your choice. You choose. And attitude is contagious. <laughs> attitude is contagious. Is your attitude worth catching? <laughs> Somebody's going to catch your attitude. Right. What was it? <laughs> Pastor, we saw you. Your attitude was bad. <laughs> <laughs> is your attitude worth catching? <laughs> attitude, of course, once again, is like a flat tire. You can't go anywhere until you change it. You know what? Before you go anywhere, <laughs> change your attitude. Amen? Because nobody needs it. I, sometimes we feel like giving somebody a piece of our mind. And sometimes that piece of mind is not a good thing. So you got to be careful. But get change your attitude. Praise God. You know how many times uh, Jesus could have told somebody off? <laughs> and sometimes he healed himself and not said a word. Because he couldn't violate the word. He couldn't violate. He couldn't say anything, you know, bad or yeah. negative. Attitude determines your altitude. Soaring high or scratching low, being negative. The thing is, it's your choice. And you choose it. Amen. But remember, we've told you this so many times. Watch your words and your actions. Yeah. Watch your words and your actions. And uh you're the closest thing to a Bible. You're the closest thing or the only Bible some people will ever read. And they'll see you away from these four walls. This is not church. You're the church. And people are reading you. Mm -hmm. You're the closest thing to a Bible some people will see. And what are they reading? <laughs> are they reading something positive or something negative? Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> mm -hmm. You must choose to start every day with a good, a winning, positive attitude. Amen. Every day, you know, it's, <laughs> if you get full of the world, the world's going to take you down. Mm -hmm. But you have to decide, spend time with him. <laughs> Lord, I need you. <laughs> you know what this world's like, <laughs> you know. And uh, when you're on his, his winning side, you know, hey, before you step out, mm -hmm. Lord, I need you before I yes. go out face these giants yes. on a daily basis, you know. And when you step with him, you know, hey, you're going to soar. Yeah. Philippians 4.13 says, Yeah. I can do all, all things through Christ who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. You know what? It's always good when you meet with him. Yeah. It's always, you feel much better <laughs> when you meet with him, spend time with him, and you yeah. feel strong and you're ready for some giants. Amen. But if you don't, well, I'm going to read it here to you in a few minutes. I can do all things through Christ. That's number one. Number two is have an attitude of gratitude. Ephesians 5 and 20 says, Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Having an attitude of thanksgiving. Psalms, uh -huh. we, we read last week. Psalms 100. Amen. Let's go there. I like that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Psalms 100. Psalm 100. It says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all your lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. So if you're serving God and you got a frown on your face, you need to wake up. It says, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his court with praise. Be thankful unto him. And bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. So start every day with a positive attitude. Soaring. Yes. Okay, having that attitude of gratitude, having an attitude of thanksgiving, having a winning attitude. Matthew 6 33. Here's another uh, Philippians uh, 13 uh, from the NIV. He says, I can do everything yes. through Him who gives me strength. Amen. Amen. Lord, I need your strength. Also says in uh, Nehemiah, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Uh -huh. Amen. So praise God. Keep going, Craig. Here we go. Matthew 6, 33. Yes. And we're going to be closing here. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> we're going to be closing. It says, having a winning attitude, but seek 
first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added on to you. Amen. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. It's a little thing that makes a big difference. So choose to walk in a positive attitude. Amen. Because it's going to affect a lot of people. And it says it's contagious. It's your attitude worth catching. Amen. Come on. <laughs> Sometimes we feel like the um, like some of these uh, worldly people. And sometimes uh, we haven't accomplished anything. Sometimes we're wasting our time. Sometimes we're spinning our wheels. And sometimes uh, we're impatient, annoyed, uh, irate, or irritated, edgy, <laughs> mad, or P.O. You know what P.O. would mean? That's Patricia. <laughs> we just ticked off, you know? <laughs> Renewing of our strength requires that we wait patiently on the Lord in mm -hmm. the middle of whatever great trial is happening. Yes. Amen. Lord, I'm waiting patiently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Praise Amen. God. Thank you, Lord. If we wait on the Lord, we will reap and gain, earn, acquire, win, and obtain. As Daniel <laughs> got thrown in the last den, waiting patiently on the Lord. The Lord was there, met him mm -hmm. where he was. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And on and on. So many, so many examples. Our faith and trust must be tested, but it'll gain the strength. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, a lot of us have been tested. That's why we have such, such great testimonies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you have great testimonies. You know, you have a testimony so that you can share. Mm -hmm. It's not for you to keep. You got to share it. Amen. When the Lord tells you to share it with someone, make sure you share your testimony. Because the Bible says that they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. So testimonies are great. Amen. Praise God. We used to, but now we're, we're, we're out. In these times that we need the Lord more and more and more. Amen. Everybody's magnifying coronavirus. But we need it more now. Amen. We need him more now and on a daily basis. Yeah. It's easy to live for God and trust him when everything is going so well. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not so easy when the weight of the world is upon your shoulders. Right. Many Christians quit bailing out. We're talking about Christians. We're not talking about the world. Many Christians quit bailing out on God as the storms get stronger and rougher and tougher. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And guess what? When the things get rough and tough, it's time for the people of God to just buckle up and let's press on, amen? Because we can do all yeah. things yeah. through him. Yeah. We have the greater one in us, and we're stepping out, and we're going to take for God, amen? So praise God. I hope you, uh, that blessed you, and uh, we'll finish next week, but uh, I hope that bless you. Waiting upon the Lord. Praise God, amen? So praise God. Those of you that are never asked Jesus in your heart, you know, this is a time. Yeah. We have opportunity right now. Those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, if you never ask Jesus in your heart, you have to do say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. If yes. you've said that, you know, he's going to receive you. Amen. Amen. He's going to, you receive him and take him as Lord and Savior. Amen. Yes. And start changing your ways and start pressing on for him and start learning. Start, start maturing in the things of God and doing what the word of God tells you. Yes. Amen. Because it says that you can do all things through him. Oh, okay. Amen. So praise God. <clears throat> If you need a touch of healing, you can get it. Because the word of God says that by Jesus Christ you're healed. Yeah. Amen. So wherever you are, you don't have to be uh have a a, a, a pastor there or, or anybody else there. All you have to do is say, Lord, by Jesus Christ, the word of said God says, and that's why it's so important that you know the truth, because the truth is gonna set you free. Lord, I don't feel so well. Lord, whatever the doctor, whatever report the doctor's given you. Lord, I thank you that by Jesus Christ I'm here. Father, I just pray, Father God, for those that are hurting right now. Whatever this, the hurt may be, we thank you that by Jesus Christ they're healed, Father God. And we speak healing in those bodies right now. Body, line up with the word of God and be healed. Receive that healing now in Jesus' name. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Yes. And this is a time where uh, we've asked you to, uh, for, to give. Amen. So if you're giving, I think the information's on the board there. Uh, NBCBigBen.com. 
and press the donate button there if you mail it. NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. And uh, we want to say again, thank you so much. We love you. God bless you. Amen. Amen.